Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're going to take a look at the Twisby VAC Mini and VAC 20A bottle. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have the box for the Twisby VAC Mini. Um, it's your standard Twisby box. You got your nice logo on the top. Um, VAC Mini on the side here. And let's just get right to it. Let's open it up. Um, we've got a a brochure here for the specially user manual for the VAC Mini. And tells you everything you need to know. Shows you how to take it apart if you want to. I recommend you don't. Um, so we'll talk about that in a bit. And we have the classic Twisby packaging. Um, nice crystal clear. Open it up. And there it is. So I'm going to take off the little piece here, and now underneath, if you lift this white part up and you flip it upside down, you've got two spare O-rings, uh, some silicone grease, and you've got your Twisby wrench. So let's take a look at the pen. and. It's uh, noticeably smaller for those of you who have the, the standard VAC 700. There's our comparison. Um, it's, it's noticeably smaller. Um, and that's nice if you thought the, this VAC 700 was quite big. So um, it looks very similar to the Twisby Mini Piston Filler. Um, same style cap. We have, uh, you're going to notice here, we have a threading and an O-ring on the end of the barrel. Uh, much smaller vac knob. Twisby here on the cap band. On the back it says vac mini. Uh, your top's got your traditional Twisby logo. Got some spring in the clip there. Let's take a look. So, unscrew it. Now it does thread onto the back. And looks like there's a couple of different starting points. So depending on where you put it, uh, you'll have to adjust it for lining up with the nib. But it does line up nicely. Um, it uses the smaller Twisby nibs, and these are available extra fine, fine, medium, broad, which this one is, and a 1.1 stub. Uh, 1.5 is no longer available. Um, section does unscrew, so you can get replacement nibs. And let's take a look at the mechanism. It's a much smaller knob than on the, the standard VAC 700. Uh, it does have, let's look at this real close here. It does have, if you watch the end of the VAC knob there, that same feature, the ink shutoff feature that you see on the VAC 700. So as we back this off, this allows flow of ink from the barrel through to the section. If you're only going to write for a little bit, after you've filled, you'll have some ink in the section and you can write you know, a couple of sentences, a paragraph or two maybe, but if you're going to, for a longer writing session, you're just going to want to open this up. And this just spins freely. This doesn't, it's not going to allow ink to come out the back or anything uh, unless you pull it out. And this of course operates on the downstroke. So you can see right here, inside the barrel, the barrel gets thinner here, and as the rod gets down, it opens up, forces the vacuum, and ink will come in. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the bottle that it goes with, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a filling. Um, there are new bottles 
for the VAC Mini. And they come in five different colors. We've got black, blue, red, green, and orange. And let's compare, I've got one filled with water here. Let's compare these with the old bottle. And the first thing you're gonna know, notice is uh, the bottle itself is significantly taller. We've got a longer neck on the black cap. We've got this intermediary piece here and then the top colored piece. That's just blue. So now if you have one of the older bottles, there are certain parts of these that do, do interchange. You can put the new mechanism on the old bottle and we can put this new section into the old style cap. So it does fit. Um, Twisby indicates that it's really not designed to work that way, but it does, it does fit. Um, this part here serves two purposes. Uh, if we take this part out, we can use the bottle with the old VAC 700. But of course, since this is a different pen, this, this doesn't, doesn't fit. So it doesn't create a tight seal. We need something different. They developed this spacer here, this insert. And with that, we can nicely thread in the VAC Mini. Um, Twisby is also advertising that this is for use for all other pens. Uh, and originally I was thinking maybe that meant that they were going to design something that was similar to the Visconti Inkwell uh, traveling ink pot. What they actually mean is you can take the top off and you can fill your pen directly from there. So, Okay, let's take a look at how the VAC Mini fills with the VAC 20A bottle. So I've got my orange bottle here filled with some water. And I'm going to pull this out and thread it in here. I've got my gray section on there, make sure everything's tight. Uh, and this works best if you hold it directly up and down. And it takes usually two operations of the filling unit to completely fill the pen, uh, similar to how the back 700 was. And if I hold this up, you see there is one tiny air bubble there, and that's about it. In other words, the whole barrel is full. Um, now, you can also, if you don't have the bottle, you can also do this by pulling out on the filling unit, uh, pushing in, and then turning it over and putting it back into your bottle of ink and pushing it down. Um, that's a little more uh, intensive, uh, takes a little more effort, uh, and the bottle is, uh, is, is fairly, fairly inexpensive, and it really, really helps. Um, so there is the Twisby VAC Mini and the brand new VAC 20A bottle. So there you have it, the Twisby VAC Mini and VAC 20A bottle. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide.